is day two. Um, uh, you should, if you haven't already, please send me a picture of the pieces you created yesterday, something like this. You know, it's a picture of your face and these guys, or if you made them, then these guys. And that's all I'm really looking for to see if you were able to produce that. Um, today we're going to be working on the tension pieces. Uh, we're going to be cutting out some little tiny strips and gluing them together, making them a little bit thicker than they are. Um, so yesterday, these were the uh, compression pieces because we're going to be pushing down on them. Uh, and uh, so today we're going to be creating uh, tension pieces. These are the pieces that are going to be pulled apart as the bridge is put under load. So... Uh, Shouldn't be too difficult, really tiny pieces. So just be careful, don't lose them, don't bend them. Um, that will uh, uh, compromise their strength and uh, uh, try to get them glued together and we'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Today, we are gonna make our tension pieces. Yesterday, we made the compression pieces. That was the square tubes. Today we're going to make our tension pieces and this is going to be little strips of paper. So we need 14 four millimeter pieces. So 14 four millimeter pieces. So I'm going to go four millimeters. So one, two, three, four. And then if I'm going to do 14 of them, each one is going to get cut out this time. So I can either move it down again and say one, two, three, four. Oops, four. See there, I made a mistake. One, two, three, four. Uh, or I could go, the next one is eight, and the next one is 12, and the next one is 16, and the next one is 20, and so on and so on and so on. So you wanna make sure that you've got 14 of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 24. one more. Six. Okay, now, because I make mistakes, you might want to make some more. It's just a thought. Um, and now what you're gonna do is draw your lines on them. And so here we go. And watch a bunch of tiny little lines. So now we're gonna cut them out. In just time, you're gonna cut each one of them because you need all 14 of these little bitty tiny strips. Okay, so now I'm gonna take these guys, I should have 14 of them, and I'm going to take two of them and set them with the rest of my uh, uh, finished pieces because these two are gonna be finished. We're not gonna double them up. The rest of them, we're gonna double them up. So I'm gonna take two of them and I'm going to put them on top of each other and I'm gonna glue them together like this and you're going to do that with all the rest of them so <laughs> we're just gonna get started on it here
and there's my first one done. I want to make sure that it's sealed all the way down, trying to keep it as centered on both sides as I can, and I'm going to set it off to the side and let it dry. Now, you'll notice I have a little bit of glue there. Um, if I keep going on, when I finish at the end of all this, I'm going to need to clean all that up because mom might be mad if you uh, make a big mess of her table. But the good thing about Elmer's glue is it washes off. So I can take a wet paper towel. <laughs> So I have a little bit piece of Kleenex here, a little bit wet, not real wet, but a little bit wet. And I'm gonna use it to clean up my mess here. Use the dry side. Okay, and on to the next step. Okay, so the next two, next section is two millimeter pieces. We need eight of them. And two millimeters is really, really small. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and I need eight of them. And oh my gosh, look how teeny, teeny, tiny those are. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and man, oh man, are those guys small. But we need them, and so therefore, we are going to create them. These are tiny. Oops, there we go. And then now you're going to cut those out the same way we did last time. All right, so now that I have these eight, uh, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna glue them together. So uh, just be careful with what you're doing. Make sure you line them up and uh, clean up after yourself. So here we go.
and try not to bend these. Um, their strength is gonna come in the fact that they are uh, flat, so try not to bend them. Once again, I need to clean up. The final one is fairly easy. It's just one 10 millimeter strip. So I say the easiest for last, 10, 10, which is one centimeter. And this one, we are not gonna glue to anything. It's the last one. So when you finish with these all, set them aside and we'll go on to the next step tomorrow. So hopefully this isn't too boring. Uh, I think it's kind of fun because I'm making something. So there you go. So now we have five tubes and eight, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, of these four millimeter pieces, one 10 millimeter not glued together, two four millimeter pieces not glued together, and four two millimeter pieces. Oh no, they glued together. Uh, uh. One, two, three, four. Four two millimeter pieces. And so just keep them all, don't let them get bent up, and we'll hit it again tomorrow. And now we're going to try it with regular paper. Remember, it's two layers of paper. So this is the end product you should have. You should have these square tubes from yesterday, and then you should have the strips from today. And this is what we're gonna end up making. So uh, we'll talk more about this as we go along. So see you soon, look forward to it tomorrow. Still miss you guys, have a beautiful day.